This shows the Belmont estate, the site which was purchased with the money bequeathed by Henry James Campbell, upon which the school would be built. The house became the main office for the ongoing building work, before being demolished upon completion of the school in 1896. Today, the site of the original Belmont House is the turning circle at the front of the school. The school itself was designed by architect William Lynn. Lynn was from Ulster and designed many of Belfast's most famous buildings, including Belfast Central Library, the Bank Building and Riddell Hall. Such was Lynn's fame, he was also commissioned to design town halls across the UK, including Chester, Barrow and Furness and Paisley. Lynn's design for the original school was based on a Tudor revivalist style. He deliberately incorporated features such as tall chimneys and gables to make the school look older than it actually is. With an initial intake of just 215 pupils, the school opened its doors in September 1894, meaning it has just celebrated 125 years in existence. Of course, with a current student intake of over 950, the school has had to expand in more recent times. The McDermott Wing, currently home to biology lessons, was inaugurated in 1958 by the Vice-Chancellor of Queen's University. It was funded in part by a grant from the Industrial Fund, which raised £8,600, as well as donations to the Endowment Fund of just under £10,000. This was a substantial sum in the 1950s, but it did fall somewhat short of the fundraising target of £60,000. Perhaps part of the blame can be attributed to the concurrent drive to raise money to extend the chapel. This work was completed in 1965, again funded through the generosity of Old Campbellians. More recently, Middle School was built, home of the History, Art and Languages departments, as well as a new sports hall. And it is hoped the building work will continue in the coming decades to ensure that Henry James Campbell's desire to provide a superior education for the boys of Belfast can continue.